Hello, class. This is Professor William, College of San Mateo, Sociology. This is our last video. This is it. You've done it. You finished the entire semester. You stuck through it. You stuck to it. Got it done. There are students who, who dropped out and some who couldn't get finished, who just couldn't make it all the way to the end. You did. So congratulations to all of you. You just have one thing, one more thing you need to do, and that is our final exam. You can choose any time you want to do it. When you choose it though, once you get started, you have two hours and 40 minutes to actually complete the whole thing. So be aware, it is not a good idea to stop your exam in the middle, go get a bowl of soup or change the baby and come back. Things have not gone well like that. It's better to do it all at one sitting. Let me say this though, you have plenty of time. That two hours and 40 minutes for something like 65 to 70 questions, you will find is way more than enough. Almost all of them are multiple choice. There are a few essay between five and 10. I mixed it up. So the, and you need to take your time on all of them, of course, and particularly the essay questions. You have to write full sentences and you have to use your own words. Do not copy and paste out of the textbook or someplace else where you got information, some reference thing. I'll have to mark a zero on that so all your work would be for nothing. Use your words. If you read something that you like, you go, I feel the same way or I think that's the right answer, just say it in your own words and you're good, okay? All right, so you do want to watch that. Do be also careful about that. Here's something else. Be very careful that you read the question completely. When you were doing some of your practice tests and I was uh, grading them, some people got marked wrong, but it wasn't really because they were wrong. It was because they misread the question. So read your question slowly and carefully and read them more than once. Then put in your answer and I think you'll do better. Now, some of you have heard this advice before about test taking, and if you had, good. I'm just a reminder then. And those who have not heard it, this is a good trick. Okay, so this you want to do. Um, actually, that, that is pretty much it. I hope you learned a lot from this semester. This is one of the earlier courses for sociology. As you go on to take other sociology courses, I hope you've learned things that you can apply and you can build on that. Also, I hope you learn some things that you can take with you for the rest of your life and that as you go on to be the decision maker in your life, in your community, in your work, you can incorporate into those decisions some of the things you have learned here this semester. That is what education is all about. That is why one of the reasons why it is so important. It makes us not only think more broadly, but think independently. And sometimes when so many people are so sure that they should be going in one direction, because of some of the things that you have been through, you can be one of those lone voices that might say, hey, let's take a look over here. Let's examine this. What if we decide to make a different decision? I hope that this course have helped you do that. Of course, I think that that's what education is supposed to do. And that's one of the reasons why I am proud to have dedicated my life to being an educator and to help doing help people think in that way. So in the meantime, enjoy, if, that, if that's a good way to say that, enjoy your final exam. Thank you so much for taking this course and for being a student in this course. I was proud to be a part of your education process. And once this is finished, enjoy your summer. You have earned it. <laughs> You have worked very hard, and I hope that the scores turn out to be exactly what you expected them to be. And goodbye.